In order to take any tests on Moodle or quizzes on Moodle, you need to have the Lockdown Browser app installed on your iPad and configured. These are the steps to do this. First, open your settings and go to General. On the General screen, find Accessibility and then scroll down till you see Learning and Guided Access as an option. Click on Guided Access and then turn it on. After that, you'll need to click Passcode Settings and set a Guided Access passcode. Everyone needs to have the exact same Guided Access passcode. Do not change your passcode to an individualized uh, passcode of your choosing. It needs to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Or if you have a four digit option, you can just do one, two, three, four. You'll need to enter it twice and then you're all set. Also, please do not turn on Touch ID for guided access. Both of these um, issues with the Touch ID and setting your own passcode could get you locked out of a test and earn you a zero. Once you've configured your settings, go back to the Lockdown app and click on it. You should see a search bar asking you to type in the name of your institution. Go ahead and start typing Sefner and you'll see that it pops up as an option for Sefner Christian Academy. Click on that and now you are ready to go. In order to start your testing, you will need to triple click your home button. You will then get a note that says guided access has been started. It will then look like a normal Moodle login page. Go ahead and log in to your Moodle account. From this point on, it's Using lockdown for a test is the same as testing without it and going through Safari. You'll go to the class and click on the test that has been set up to be used with the lockdown browser. This is something that specifically is set by your teacher so they will let you know if you need to take it and likewise it will um, say requires use of lockdown browser with or next to the name of the test or quiz. If you exit the test or quiz for any reason, and that includes losing internet connectivity, then it records you as an exit and flags your teacher as and lets them know that you have compromised test security. So if for any reason whatsoever your iPad freezes or you lose connection and you're unable to um, move forward with your test or quiz, you must notify your teacher immediately. Do not troubleshoot or problem solve on your own. Your teacher will take care of that for you. When you are done with your test and you have submitted it the normal way that you would on Moodle, you have to triple click again to leave the guided access. And this is where you're going to then put in your passcode, the 1234 or the 123456. Okay. From this point, you can click End. Um, if you get to this screen, you're still in the lockdown browser and there should be not notification of any kind of issue uh, with the test security. But as soon as you hit End, it will notify your teacher that you've left if you have not submitted the test entirely. That is how you will use lockdown browser. Um, your teacher can assist you with any further questions.